Okay, so my question was, can a full-size DSLR be mounted vertical, portrait mode essentially, on the Ronin-S? So, kind of to prove a point to myself and to put it here on YouTube, I took my old Canon EOS 60 with the battery grip, a 50 millimeter prime, and, well, I mounted it on there, and there was a little, little bit of a workaround that I had to do, but I just wanted to make a video of it here to show. It is on there, it's balanced, you know, really good actually. But what I had to do to balance it correctly, let me just come around here and show you first that pretty much right here, I'm out of adjustment. I'm all the way down and I still needed more. And here, I'm just about to the end. You can see that. And if we flip this around, you can see here that I'm pretty much to the end there. But what I had to do was I had to put a counterweight on the bottom and ironically for this camera the weight came out to be one ounce exactly and I didn't plan it that way it just came out that way Let's see if I can get a focus in here and what I used is something that I just happened to have sitting on my desk and that was a one ounce piece of silver it's an American Eagle silver dollar I just happen to have one sitting there that I play with in my fingers sometimes, doing magic tricks and whatnot. I picked it up, it's exactly one ounce, some gaffer's tape, and it worked perfectly. So, let me get this on around here, and... Now, I haven't actually went out and shot with it, but I have been picking it up and moving it around in this configuration, and it seems to be fine. I can't pick it up right now because I'm holding this phone in one hand, and I just don't want to attempt that. Now, I am on an L bracket, and just so you can see, I'm on the riser here, but I have the riser turned sideways, and that's only because of the L bracket uh, configuration. The hole, the quarter 20 hole is all the way over here, Instead of being here, it just, I mean, it was kind of a quick throw together thing, but I just wanted to prove my point. Now, if I put it in to neutral, find neutral here. Where are we at? It's on the other side. Okay. So put it in neutral, wait three seconds, and you can kind of see how well balanced it is. I mean, it stays good right there. And... You know, it's, I mean, it's twirling around. Now, another thing that's going to help you anytime you balance your Ronin, and that is to have a bubble level. One of these things... One of these things is perfect. Now, you can see this surface that I'm on right now, which is actually a big piece of cooking equipment because I own a barbecue business. And that's what I use the IGTV for my barbecue business. So that way it's a little better balanced or, or level, I should say. That way it's not. But where you want to put this is you don't want to put it on the surface so much as you want to put it up on your Ronin. And spin your Ronin around. Because the first thing you want to do is make sure the Ronin is level. And then once you have your Ronin level, of course you go ahead and you balance these three points or four points and that's all there is to it. And I actually just balanced out quite easily. Once I had a counterweight, it didn't take me uh, very long to, to balance it. So just so you can see my configuration right now for my Ronin is I have one of these, forget the name of it, um, be a link to it below, words across the screen of course, and I have the Rode mic attached to that as well and I do have a lanyard that I have on there sometimes if I'm in areas where I think I might drop 
everything. If I'm standing on something, standing up high, I don't want it to drop, I'll put that around my wrist. Over here is, of course, a phone mount so that I can see the app if I'm doing some type of a tracking type sequence or something like that. Now, as far as the Ronin goes, uh, just to talk a little bit about that, uh, very well made, excellent piece of equipment. Uh, I love the actual workmanship and the quality of this thing. Now, as far as does it work with my camera, your camera, I think they, when they first released it, you know, they released it, uh, it was compatible with the Panasonic GHS-5. I'm not a Panasonic owner, but I believe that's the number. And I know other, I've been following the message board, the forum, and everything, and I know other cameras are coming online. You know, they kind of have to acquire um, technology from these other companies to m work with the Ronin to make it compatible. And I understand all that. Although I think uh, they misled some camera owners into thinking, <clears throat> excuse me, into thinking that your camera was going to be next. And actually some of the cameras were taken off the list. So people bought the Ronin thinking, you know, okay, it's not going to work right away, but they're going to make it compatible. And then DJI said, eh, we're not going to make it compatible. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with that. But for shooting IGTV, an old EOS 6D is perfect. Shoots in 1080. Um, that's all you really need. You don't need anything fancy for that. So other thoughts on the Ronin, the app. Hmm, I like it. I'd like it more if it was compatible with my camera for doing time lapses and stuff like that. It's not compatible with it. So if I want to do a time lapse, I can put this thing into track, but then I still got to have a shutter release. And again, uh, if your camera is not compatible with the Ronin app, the focus wheel, see, I even took my focus wheel off. Uh, <clears throat> if you're not compatible with that, it's still a great gimbal. It's still awesome. I mean, this thing is just, you know, it, it moves around nice and, and smooth. So far, I haven't really had any major problems with it. Um, but again, it's all about firmware updates, which I'm not happy about. You're constantly looking for the next firmware update. Uh, the firmware that was in it when I got it, I do a balance test, everything's fine. I do the firmware update, I do a balance test, and they change the word, I think, tilt to yaw, and it says bad all the time, no matter what. And other people having the same issue. Um, it just crazy stuff like that. They should have had more thought out. Uh, this part of it, I think they had thought out. The, the actual hardware of it. It's just the logistics of the software, firmware, and being compatible. All that kind of stuff. Uh, I give DJI, DJI a thumbs down on having that stuff ready soon enough. Um, without doing a bunch of firmware updates and, you know, going there. And the other thing is there's no accessories right now. Like if you, if you lose your cord, I mean, you can use another cord, but you can't get the cord that came with it. Um, battery grip, you can't get an extra battery for it. Not right now. You're going to be able to, but you know, um, the tripod, I love this tripod. This tripod actually be great for any camera. Like you want to, you know, do you need a little tabletop tripod? This thing is awesome, but you can't. I can't seem to get another one. Plates. If you wanted to have more than one plate, so you could set up for more than one camera, I can't find them. And if anybody knows how to get them, let me know. But there's nothing. You can't get no other plates. So anyway, we're just about at the ten minute. But I just wanted to show how it works for. IGTV, which is a new Instagram platform, or part of Instagram, uh, an extension of it, I guess you should say, and I like it. I'm not super hyped about shooting vertical. I think it's the most stupidest, idiotic thing there is, but uh, when you have a business and you need to promote it, and you want to use social media, you kind of got to, you kind of got to go where social media is going to take you. So right now they're taking us into vertical. And, well, so here we are. We're in vertical. Okay. 